Hello. Uh, so, I played the new Overwatch patch for season 11. And uh, it's not good. Who could have seen that coming? Uh, basically, McCree uh, got his flashbang back. S somehow he became even stronger. I, d I don't really know how they made that decision to make him even better, but it's okay. He was already really good. Uh, Symmetra is now like the low rank annihilator because her beam charges up faster. I don't know why they did that. Kiriko got nerfed. That was cool. Um, her Suzu no longer picks up people who were shattered. And her TP is on an 8 second cooldown instead of 7. So basically they didn't touch her at all. Even though she's so overpowered. But it's okay. Um, what else did they do? I don't really think they did much else to be honest. They didn't nerf Moira. Oh, they did nerf Hog. That was good. I liked it. Oh, and they nerfed Sojourn too. Yeah, they basically removed Sojourn from the game. Thank God. She's only been overpowered since... Um, her inception, so, you know, all good, I guess. It'd be nice for another character to be playable for a while. Uh, no Hanzo buff. Interestingly enough, they just didn't buff him. I don't know why. No Genji buff either. They just, they didn't care at all. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. They buff Reaper, though. Don't worry, guys. They buffed Reaper, but they didn't buff Hanzo or Genji. Who, by the way, Reaper is like a super sleeper pick anyway, and... I don't know why people were so quick to say he was terrible, because he wasn't. The, see, here, the only problem with Reaper is that in some situations, he literally can't do anything at all. Which is kind of similar to some other characters, too. I'm yawning. Um, so, yeah. Reaper is better at shotgun as Tyre. I don't really care. It is what it is. Um... Fuck, what else did they do? Uh, anyway. So Genji didn't get a buff. And Moira didn't get an F. Oh, yeah, and they, they buffed Ilari? They buffed Larry. I don't know why. Basically, they made the healing pylon heal her less. So she doesn't heal herself as much off the healing pylon anymore. But it has like less H oh no, sorry, it has more HP, so it's harder to break. And uh it heals more or something. Oh yeah, you So I don't yeah, I don't really know. There wasn't a whole lot of thought process behind that. Um anyway, so Genji is still unplayable. Moira is still super OP. They made McCree more OP. I don't really know what the thought process behind giving him flashbang was. Also, if you get hit by flashbang, you can't crouch. Which is really bizarre. I don't really know who thought that made any sense at all. Maybe he was... See, like, here's the problem is... The not being able to crouch while you've been flashbanged is entirely because... The he whoever balanced whoever decided to make this balance change realized that gold players are incapable of shooting people if they can move, so he just made it so that they basically can't move, um, which is just terrible. Uh, classic balance in the game for the gold players. I mean, like. The fact that Moira is still such an overpowered character just kind of goes to show that the only thought process that they ever apply is if I can't do it because I'm gold, then it's because the character's underpowered. And um, Genji is too difficult for me to play, so I'm never going to play him, which means I'm never going to know if I have to buff him or not. Listen, I'm just salty that my character remains to be one of the worst characters in the game. Uh, by a considerable margin. I mean, like, it's nice that my brother Hanzo is chilling here with me. At least he's awful as well. Uh, we can be terrible together. But, like, it would have been cool if, you know, my character was playable, I guess. Like, I still can't kill Baptiste or Alari or Moira or Kiriko or, or McCree. Most of the time, Ash. So, 
you know, I don't know. It just kind of is what it is. Like, I still can't really kill anything, but I still have to put in monumentally more effort on Genji than I do on any other character in the game. So, I mean, just get used to being terrible, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm already used to being a statistical anomaly in the fact that I may actually get a kill in maybe one in every three fights. You know, that's pretty rare for most Genjis, but... I am capable of, of achieving an elimination from time to time on this character. Although I think uh, the Alari buff will go down in history as one of the dumbest changes I've literally ever seen. Uh, it's actually so bad that my brain is like not allowing me to remember it because of trauma. Because I'm yawning It's too tired of this fucking game. Uh, so anyway, the, the problem with Ilari right now is that she's a statistical monster like her her fucking gun hitbox is enormous it's genuinely huge it's difficult to miss uh but not also that uh it does a shitload of damage in general but also at range and the problem with ilari from a character design perspective is that she's completely brain dead now if you're like an alari player and you're like no my character takes like lots of skill and like blah 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 blah, blah or whatever the fuck i'm sorry i'm just gonna say the truth to you alari is objectively a brain dead easy character and if you rely on her to win you are not as good as you think you are you are relying on a broken character to win in this game which is fine so does like 80 percent of the game's population but I just need you to know that if you are incapable of winning on Ilari, then you are genuinely terrible, which is fine. I'm also terrible. Um, it's okay. Don't worry. I know how to. I know how you feel. It is what it is. Um, I'm gonna start playing Ilari soon as well, so that I might actually be able to win a game. So anyway, the reason Ilari is so broken is that. The pylon was buffed for no reason. I'm pretty sure it heals more. I don't actually remember. I probably should have checked, but I'm not going to. But I'm pretty sure it heals more uh, on anyone but Alari. So, basically, the issue is in, like, GM Top 500, on the maps that are good for Alari, so, like, all the poke maps, there's, like, 50 pylon spots on each point where you just, like, can't break it like at all like you you'll kill yourself going over there to break it so it's like you you basically just spawn a mercy pocket on the map oh cool down right and there's just like nothing you can really do about it oh also they buffed may they buffed may uh but they did like a weird thing is prior to season nine may was able to when she shot her little ice pick, her right click, uh, she could one tap tracer with it, which made her really, really good. Cool, uh, made her really, really good in the tracer duel uh, because she just had to one headshot. So May was like a, a good, a good tracer counter, uh, but she can't do that anymore. Uh, they buffed her damage, but now instead of doing like a hundred and fifty a headshot, she does a hundred and seventy or something. I don't really remember you guys. Either way, she can't one-shot Tracer anymore. So, well, no, she hasn't been able to one-shot Tracer in ages, but she still can't do it, even though, like, she kind of has to, to be playable, because Tracer is so good. And Tracer is so good because of the DPS passive, but we're not going to get into all that, because we all know it's dumb. I'm not sure there's anyone watching this video or watches my content that sits there and goes, yeah, the passives were a good idea. The same way that I don't think anyone watches this and thinks 5v5 was a good idea either. I just think it is what it is. I don't really know what the point of this video was. I'm just kind of rambling. But let's get down to the, the root issue here. The game balancers on this game, not to be like mean, to be mean, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm just going gonna, just gonna to say the truth. And if they think it's mean, then they think it's mean. I think these devs will go down in history as the second worst game balancers of all time. Uh, closely in front of, only beaten out by the Overwatch 1 balance team. 
because they were genuinely so bad. They were they were counterproductive 99% of the time. Overwatch is a game that degrades over time and the longer it goes on for, the lower in quality the balance gets, which was pretty obvious in Overwatch 1. In Overwatch 2, that hasn't been the case. They, they gutted Sojourn. Thank fucking God. Fuck that character. So, I mean, they've got... They, they sometimes do a good job, a little bit. But most of the time, they do a terrible job. Um, like, let's think of a terrible change that they've done recently. Um, oh, yeah. Literally every change to supports ever, apart from, like, some of the slight nerfs they do. Like, Kiriko is literally able to do everything, but, like, the Kiriko subreddit has, like, gone completely nuclear because she can't cleanse Shatter anymore, and her TP is on one second higher cooldown. It's, like... Kiriko players are becoming Mercy players. They're so full of their own delusions where they're incapable of seeing their objectively overpowered character for longer than two seconds without going, wah, wah, wah. I can, I'm fucking silver when I play any other support character, but when I go Kiriko, I'm diamond. I'm just cracked, bro. I'm carrying. I'm sorry, my brother. Put the petroleum down. You're done huffing. That is the dumbest shit I ever heard, yo. I'm just going to give you some objective fact. If you're incapable... Of hard carrying, like a fucking master's lobby on Kiriko, you're bad, my brother. I'm just saying how it is. That character literally plays itself. It, that character is literally brain dead. Now, I'm not saying she's easy to play. Absolutely not. She requires skill. Absolutely. People think that when I call a character brain dead, I'm saying they don't require any skill. That's not true. Mercy is objectively a brain dead character. It's super easy to, to know what to do on her. Her, how you play her is objectively very simple, but maybe executing it may not be. For example, the thing with Kiriko is, she does a shitload of damage. That damage is not really that easy to output most of the time, and you have to be genuinely pretty good to do it. However, TP is objectively an overpowered brain dead ability. There's no arguing this. That's literally true. You're able to look at a teammate, I'm pretty sure it's at 30 meters, through multiple walls, I just teleport to them. This is like oh, every eight seconds, by the way. Eight every eight seconds. That's crazy. It, it's basically uh, I don't want to learn how to have good positioning, so I'm just gonna teleport. And Suzu is very like. Um, I just kind of want to control everyone else's ability to play the game, so I will make it so that if you ever interact with anything that I wish you not to interact with, then I will deny that by pressing a single button. Like, that's objectively overpowered. The thing is, is anyone who disagrees with TP or Suzu being overpowered are intellectually dishonest. That is factually true. Going down to the actual core fundamentals of the abilities, they are ludicrously overpowered in this game. The fact that you are able to circumvent all of this and just go around all of the counterplay and all the positioning and all the pathing and and the duels all of it by pressing one button is crazy being able to escape a 1v1 with a tp is crazy being able to make a 1v1 a 1v2 is crazy being able to teleport to someone across the map and make them invincible heal them and cleanse them of any debuffs is objectively overpowered because there is no effort that you don't you're not rewarded for effort you're rewarded for pressing a button right which is op anyone who says it's not is is either a complete moron or is deliberately being intellectually dishonest uh uh disagree with me if you want i don't care i fucked your wife uh goodbye I love you, or not, maybe I don't, but I do. Here's the thing, guys, I have a, I have a very deep emotional relationship with all of you. Um, not a sexual one, though, of course. Find the Lord. You should find the Lord. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this video was. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.